This week, Delta Airlines announced it'll be making some changes to its frequent flyer program. And the way many travelers see it, they will not be positive changes. Here's Jeff Pegues. At Reagan National Airport, passenger Rana Boone was not happy about Delta's changes. The idea that you have to spend X number of dollars and it's not based on miles anymore is ridiculous. But in a statement, Delta says they are responding to feedback from customers. Beginning next year, the airline will revise the formula it uses to award frequent flyer miles. Instead of giving credit for the number of miles flown, flyers will be rewarded for how much they spend. Currently, a $700 ticket from New York to Los Angeles would earn almost 5,000 miles. The new formula would qualify for nearly 1,500 fewer miles. Brian Kelly follows the travel industry. So it's not like these programs are costing the airlines. It's the exact opposite. They're making a lot of money. So I don't see why they need to continue to drastically devalue uh, the, the frequent flyer programs. Delta has 90 million SkyMiles members across the world. And under the new program, the business traveler who typically spends the most will fare the best. Transportation expert Ken Button says that's key for the airline, which felt compelled to change the rules. In many cases, it's attracted low-cost fare travelers. Those at the front are finding the lounges are crowded and finding it difficult to get uh, seats up front because passengers at the rear use their awards to upgrade. Airlines also make money by linking rewards programs to credit cards. Experts say hang on to those cards, but consider diversifying. It's still unclear if spending more will translate into more miles. These credit cards allow you to accrue points into central pools, and then you've got numerous different transfer partners, airlines, hotels, even Amtrak, to take advantage of. So if one program changes uh, and makes really negative changes, you can always transfer your points to another. Delta is the first to go this route, but other airlines could soon be heading in the same direction. Jeff Pegues, CBS News, Washington.